Hi, this is Phil Chandler. I removed the queen from this colony a few days ago to get them to start some queen cells from one of my... Um, I gave them eggs and larva from one of my breeder queens and uh, they have indeed started queen cells which is great but now I want to switch them to super seeding mode so effectively I've got to put the queen back in here but at the same time keep her away from the newly built queen cells because obviously she'll tear them down and we don't want that to happen so I'm going to rebuild the colony uh, the queen's in a box over here and I'm going to take this apart and rebuild it as a finisher colony now as it stands the cells that have been built are in the top box anyway so I can keep this box intact so what I'm going to do is simply put the lid back on take this box off put it over here and then I can work on the bottom box So I want to find the queen in this bottom box, this, uh, this polynuke here, I'm just going to take the veil off so I can see better. A little bit of water, right, she won't be on these two because they're essentially empty. It's a marked queen, so she shouldn't be too difficult to find. I am going to put my veil on though, because they are... I'm getting a few stings. Although I'm uh, fairly immune to bee stings, I'm um, not yet entirely immune to pain, so... I'm just going to calm these guys down a little bit with the water. So we've got a frame of brood here. Seal brood and open brood. And it's entirely possible the queen could be here. Pretty sure she's a marked queen, so I should be able to spot her reasonably easily. Um, hmm. No, not seeing the queen on there. Now that's a frame of seal brood, so I'd be quite happy to put that in the upper box. I'm just going to shake the bees off just in case the queen is on them. I, I'm pretty sure she isn't, but too careful with these things. Check those in there. So um, there's a frame of sealed brood, sealed and open brood, in the top right next to the cells, which is where we want it, because that will attract the young bees and they're going to continue to feed. Now there we are, there's the queen, right. Okay, I'm just going to grab her and pop her back into the hive so I don't, I don't want to shake her as such. And uh, this is another frame of brood, so I'm going to pop this one. Maybe I'll pop that next to the brood, the uh, cells as well. In doing that, I um, discovered that in fact these guys um, are attempting to raise their own queens, but of course all they could do was make play cups because they didn't have a queen in there to lay eggs. Um, they were thinking of building their own queen's cells, but. Uh, that was thwarted, its ambition, so I'm just going to shake those off. It's got some food on it. This has just got bees on it. Right, those guys have got their queen back. They're going to be... They're going to settle down in a minute, they're going to be happy. And what I've done here is I've made... I've cut down a full-size national queen excluder I'll put it around that way I think um, which just fits nicely over there so the queen is downstairs we know that because I put her there she can't get upstairs and so upstairs I'm going to put all the other bees including the queen cells 
Okay, so now what we've got is a Queen Wright um, cell finisher with Queen Below, Queen Excluder, cells being built on this frame here, right in the middle. Right next door to it is a frame of sealed, sealed and open brood. There's pollen in here and uh, there's also a load of bees off this one, which I'm just going to drop in here. Okay, so that just remains now to shake the last remaining few bees in. There's quite a few bees in this box. There's also quite a lot of... Um, I did put some dry sugar in here to keep them busy, so I can't easily turn this box upside down and pour it in, but I'll, I'll see if I can carefully tip the sugar into, from one feeder to the other without swamping too many bees. Pop that over the top there for a moment and give it, give it a good tap. Okay, so there's our setup, and I'll put the cover back on. Don't squish any bees. Okay, there we go. There's our cell finisher. Lots of activity around the entrance now because that was all a little bit confusing for them. But there's lots of pollen coming in, some nice dark orange pollen, and uh, one or two bees have got um, telltale signs of Himalayan balsam on them. So they found some balsam around here somewhere. And hopefully all will be well. We'll come back in a few days and check that those cells have been sealed and they'll be ready to go into mating nukes quite soon.